If you could get paid to use the internet, something that you already do every day for free, would you do it? Times are changing and online data is more valuable than oil and gold these days. And this is something that ad networks have been exploiting for years. Every time you go online or click accept on a website, you are just giving your data away. That data is then collected, stored, and analyzed to target you with personalized ads. And with annual ad revenues reaching over $140 billion, shouldn't you have the option to control what happens to your data? And shouldn't you get a chance to monetize on it? Instead of just giving the money away and filling the pockets of these huge data companies, let me introduce you to the Oasis Network. Pay attention, keep watching. What's going on everyone? My name's Armando. I'm gonna be filling back in for Alex today and I have a really interesting layer one to talk about today. So today I plan on talking about Oasis. This is a privacy enabled scalable blockchain built for decentralized finance with a responsible user owned data economy. Now think about that. Have you ever heard that term before? A user owned data economy. I'm gonna be going over what that means more later in the video. Now, what is Oasis, right? So for years, many projects have dubbed themselves as Ethereum killers. And if I'm being quite honest, guys, I hate that term. It's an unhealthy way of looking at a new industry with the momentum driving it. Instead, every new project of decent quality should aim to push that envelope with the goal of fixing the decentralization trilemma. This is why I was blown away to find the Oasis Network. It positioned itself as a competitor to Ethereum while making a solid claim based on its technological design. As I mentioned earlier, Oasis is a privacy enabled scalable blockchain built for decentralized finance and a responsible user owned economy. When I emphasize privacy, I want to make sure you all understand that unlike Ethereum, where all the transactions are available for anyone to see, on the Oasis blockchain, it is possible to shield these transactions so that users and applications have privacy. The Oasis network's privacy features can also create a new type of digital asset called tokenized data. This basically allows users to take control of their data and earn rewards for staking it. Remember when I mentioned you would get paid for using the internet? The Oasis network can power the first generation of privacy first applications and unlock a new responsible data society. Data providers on the Oasis network can put their tokenized data to use right? So they can earn rewards by staking their data with these apps. They want to analyze it or control how their most sensitive information is consumed by the services they actually use. Fundamental changing idea, right? Now, how exactly the Oasis come to be? The Oasis team is made up of researchers, security experts, and privacy advocates, right? And they're all working together to build a platform for responsible data economy. With backgrounds from Apple, Google, Amazon, Goldman Sachs, UC Berkeley, Stanford, Harvard, and much more. Now, it was founded by Don Song in 2018. Don has been around the block, guys. She has done research on areas including software, networking, distributed systems, applied cryptography, blockchains, and smart contracts. Together, they've all designed the Oasis Network to be a scalable, privacy-first, and versatile layer one protocol. Now, the technological design is a hybrid of Ethereum and Polkadot. At its core, what sets Oasis apart from Ethereum is that it decouples the consensus layer from the computation layer. I'm gonna explain what that means. The consensus layer is where the transactions are validated and written into the blockchain. This is the layer that's responsible for security on the network. Thanks to its modular design, the consensus mechanism can be changed with ease. The consensus mechanism is a simply the method of deciding how the transactions are verified and written on the blockchain. Now, what they've done here is since they've separated the consensus from the computation layer is they've added this new layer called the paradigm layer, which is where all the applications run their computation. Separation of the consensus and the execution allows for the paradigms to process transactions in parallel meaning complex workloads processed on one pair of time won't slow down faster, simpler transactions on another. This helps it achieve a number of key things, and most notably, scalability, versatility, and privacy. The Oasis Network designed the first ever confidential paradigm, 
with support for confidential smart contracts. In a confidential paradigm, nodes are required to use a type of secure computing technology called TEE, short term T. And T is basically a trusted execution environment. T's act as a hypothetical black box for smart contract execution in a confidential paradigm. Encrypted data goes into the black box along with the smart contract. Data is decrypted, processed by the smart contract, and then encrypted before it is sent out on the T. This process ensures that the data remains confidential and is never leaked to the node, operator, or application developer. This privacy feature unlocks interesting new use cases like tokenized data and private DeFi. If your data, basically like token balances and other blockchain interactions, can be used for computation without being revealed to a third party, then DeFi can use this ability to unlock new products and new use cases. Think of such use cases like under collateralized lending and also preventing front and back running. The Oasis network aims to expand DeFi beyond traders and early adopters to a mainstream market. It's pretty simple to understand that the current data structure of the internet is completely broken. Corporations are profiting off user data without paying anything back to the user. Thanks to the immutability of the blockchain and the foolproof policy of enforcement of smart contracts and Oasis privacy enable features via confidential computing, a new paradigm called data tokenization is possible. In this paradigm, data providers stake their private data and get paid when it is used. This ushers in a new responsible data economy. What's fantastic about these new use cases is that they're already being put in place. For example, a company called Nebula that unlike its competitors, wants its users to own its genetic data. Thanks to the confidential computing feature, Nebula can run an analysis on the data without seeing the customer's raw data information. Oasis Labs has also partnered with Binance to help develop CryptoSafe. This is a platform that allows exchanges to share their threat intelligence data. And thanks to the confidential computation enabled by Oasis Network, the exchange data is kept confidential even when it's being compared. Now, how exactly do you invest in the project? Rose is the native capped supply utility and settlement token for the Oasis Network. It is used for staking and delegating on the Oasis consensus layer and for smart contract operations that require fees in the paradigms. The Rose native token is a cap supply. The circulated supply at launch was approximately 1.5 billion and the total cap is fixed at 10 billion tokens. So the distribution model is as follows. So I'm gonna be posting a nice big graphic here. Now, we all know that a project is only as good as its community and the people behind the scenes. Oasis is doing a great job in that department with close to a thousand node operators, developers, enterprise partners, ambassadors, and nearly 10,000 community members engaged over global social channels. One of the most notable facts is that of all the layer one blockchains, Oasis is the one with the most university program partnerships, spanning over 25 top universities in five continents, including Cambridge and the London School of Economics. If that doesn't give this project legitimacy, I don't know what does. They introduced a $160 million ecosystem fund that has led to the development of Yakuza Swap. This is the first decentralized exchange built on Emerald, Oasis EVM compatible parachain. Taking advantage of low gas, high throughput, and instant finality of Emerald, it includes all the features of a DEX that the DeFi community has come to expect. Think of things like swapping between ETH-based and Oasis-based tokens, liquidity pools and pairs, and basically you can even earn Yuzu for providing liquidity into the pools. Using both confidential compute as well as a lightweight, scalable design, the Oasis network can enable lower fees, prevent front running, and allow the creation of identities with user controlled data. The Oasis network potential is unbound, and in my opinion, limited only by the vision of the community. Oasis Network has the power to not only better secure user data, but also revolutionize the DeFi space. And it's pretty easy to say, I'm excited about the projects and will be keeping tabs on them for the foreseeable future, if only to see how private DeFi and tokenized data progress. I really appreciate you guys for watching the video. As we always say, if you don't get with it, you will get left behind.